that right? I've taken photos with um, over 2,000 different people. I have over 2,000 photos right now with celebrities and uh, magicians and comedians. My mission in life is to get a photo with every celebrity. I love the celebrities. I don't stop. I am a fan addict. I am Pinky Lovejoy Coogan. My hobby is getting pictures with celebrities. My first memory of celebrity at all in my life was when I was five, and I used to kiss a picture of Fonzie every night before I went to bed. I just thought he was super cool. I have a hard time explaining this hobby to other people. It's really hard to explain it because a lot of them think, well, they're just people, so why are you doing this? It's really emotional, especially when you really love somebody's work. I got a tattoo done. It is a phoenix, and it spells out the name River. The Duran Duran guy signed my leg that day. Oh, yeah, I'm getting her tattoo. Yeah, he signed right here. And then I went to the tattoo parlor and had it tattooed. We're not stalkers. <laughs> Some people are passionate about writing or an instrument or going to the gym. My passion is getting pictures of celebrities. <laughs> hey, got him. Talk to me. He knows you. He loves you. I'm Keith Coogan, uh, Jackie Coogan's grandson. He was in Charlie Chaplin's The Kid and remembered as Uncle Fester in the Addams Family and left the legacy of the Coogan Act. I did a lot of 70s commercials and TV shows, uh, romped around and then started doing movies. I uh, got a big break in Adventures in Babysitting. Watch your mouth. And Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, uh, where there's a certain line that will be on the headstone. <laughs> Done, man. We met at, at my very first autograph convention. Pinky Lovejoy here with the one and only Keith Coogan. So I signed a picture, and she goes, well, can I get my like picture with you now? And he goes, are we going to make out right now? And I was like, I don't know, are you going to charge me? Because he just <laughs> made me pay $20 for a damn picture with him. For I didn't know you were a ripoff. Our worlds have come together. We got him a publicist. They're getting us onto red carpets, which is funny because one day we'll be at the rail of something, and the next day we'll be on the carpet of something else. My name is Jeremy Miller. I was one of the co-stars of Growing Pains back in the 80s. I've got a cousin that would really like to meet Drew Barrymore. How would you, how would you do that? I would love to help people meet other stars. I mean, setting something like this up, I mean, you know the ropes, you know the type of people, you've got a feeling for what they're after. I'm so good at what I do, why not help other people do it too? Good morning, girls. Welcome, thanks for coming. As we all know our target today is Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore is an American actress, model, filmmaker, and author who is a descendant of the Barrymore family of well-known American stage and cinema actors. Before we start, I have been thinking a second, hold that thought. I met Aaron through Jeremy. He told me that he had a cousin that wanted to meet Drew Barrymore, and I meant to have some time to warn the girls about it, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> My cousin told me about Pinky because he knows what a big Drew fan I am and he wanted to help me out to get her autograph. She's a huge fan of Drew Barrymore and Jeremy asked me if we could help her out. Pinky is definitely the best at what she does so I think it makes sense for her to mentor people. I told her we were all friendly and nice and we yeah. love to help her. I was mad that Pinky didn't tell me. And you've never done this before? Nope. I don't like bringing new people into the mix. Some people end up being super crazy or they kind of freeze and then you kind of have to do everything for them. Drew is going to be at a talk show. It's going to look like this. So once we get there, you're going to see this line. This is her husband here. This is her production team from Flower Film. This right here is a nice lineup side. But she could also get dropped in the middle and avoid us entirely. How do we keep in touch with each other? Like Keith and I like to go, <laughs> when something's happening, and then we know that we need to either call each other or meet up. So that's our call. Drew is definitely one of our unicorns. The unicorn is a celebrity that we love, that we have gone for like a million times. Like for example, Steve Carell is my current unicorn. I've gone for him like mm, 5,000 times, and every time I get skipped, or I don't know about the event, or he misses me, or I miss him by five minutes, like it's just chips passing in the night, so he's just the illustrious unicorn that I can't seem to get. I really hope we can help Erin today, but I hope she knows that sometimes it doesn't always pan out, no matter how much planning we do. All right, we better get moving if we want to make it over there on time. One, two, three. Go, Drew! How long have we been here? Six. 
five hours, hours, six hours. Six hours. Yeah. This is nothing. Today was awesome. Erin did great. She was really excited. I'm so glad it worked out for her and you know the girls had a lot of fun. I know they were hesitant but they came around at the end. I wouldn't ever want to sneak attack or surprise them with somebody again. It's just so nice at the end of the day to be able to come home to each other and be able to communicate and just share it with each other. Next time on Pinky and the Fan Club. I'm not gonna get him down there. There's no one in my life that I wanted to start a family with before I met Pinky. We are trying to have a baby. We actually just uh, lost a baby. Now we might have another possibility uh, with Mini Idea. Why would I stop? I love this. This makes me happy. Why would I stop? You think I'm gonna grow out of it? Like I'm gonna grow old and just be like, okay, I'm over it. I don't think so. Hi.